Friday, July 12th, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, I want to talk about a phenomenon that Tropical Storm Barry might encounter along its travels as it's making landfall on the southern coast of Louisiana. It's an effect known as the Brown Ocean Effect. You don't hear of this very often because it doesn't happen very often, but it has happened in the past. Happened in the same area, in fact, dropping 40 inches of rain as a tropical storm, Allison, back in 2001, pretty much stalled over this same exact area, encountering what is known as the Brown Ocean Effect. And let me explain to you what that is, and that's probably what's going to happen here, and that's more than likely why these models are showing these very impressive rainfall totals in some areas, over 24 inches. That's probably going to occur quite easily. Let me explain. The brown ocean effect is basically this in a nutshell. The surface temperature of the ground that the tropical storm center of rotation encounters is the same temperature as the ocean. And it doesn't realize when it makes landfall, it doesn't have a computerized GPS on it telling it, okay, you're over land now, it's time to slow down and start to lose some of its strength. You're looking at an example right here over Western Australia when a storm is well inland over flooded, saturated land that is very, very warm. That's an example of a brown ocean effect. Here's another example from 2001. This is Allison. Very well inland during a flooded year during the summer when the temperatures were hot, the soil was hot, the storm intensified as it made landfall. I have a feeling that's what's going to happen here based off of the location. I've measured the soil temperature in southern Louisiana. It's 86 degrees. The temperature in the Gulf of Mexico, according to this NOAA outlet, is 86 degrees. 31 degrees Celsius, 31 degrees Celsius, that's actually 30, but we're going to go with 31 because that's 86 degrees. If we look at the current ground soil temperature in Lafayette, Louisiana, you can see that the five-day average, 86 degrees. That's 50 miles inland. That's on the exact path of this tropical cyclone. If we measure from the coastal marsh island where this thing's supposed to make landfall, this soil is wet all the time anyway. And we've been dealing with flooding in here along the Mississippi River. The ground is very, very saturated. Very saturated down here, in fact. Well, if you measure from the coast where this thing's supposed to make landfall, just up to Lafayette, just go from the coast to Lafayette. That's nearly 50 miles. Okay, if this storm is moving at 5 miles per hour from here, point A, just to Lafayette, point B is 50 miles. That's 10 hours. So that's going to be 10 hours over land that it's going to still think it's out over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. So it's going to continue to intensify. And these rainfall totals that you're seeing through here that are in the 2 foot range are going to be achieved quite easily. And that's in my humble opinion. This storm will easily produce two feet, if not more, locally, probably close to 30 inches in some areas, very far inland, based off of an effect known as the brown ocean effect phenomenon. You can Google it. I'll post a link below in the description box about this phenomenon. It has occurred before. So big heads up guys as this thing gets closer and closer to land. A technical landfall sometime tomorrow. But again, I think it's going to think it's still out over the ocean. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. Be safe out there guys.